here to talk about the integral test and give a quick example. Uh, so we have a positive, positive non-increasing function on 1 to infinity. We're really interested in the series, uh, but we're going to do it by comparing it to these two values. So we need to calculate an integral and just plug in the function value. And the example I'm going to look at is I'm going to let f of n equal 1 over to the n, so f of x equals 1 over to the x. And we know that the sum is going to be equal to uh, it's going to be equal to one half plus one fourth plus one eighth. Da, 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 equals one. So we know if this is equal to one. This is an easy integral to do. That's roughly equal to zero point seven two. And so this is the same integral. So that's also going to be roughly equal to zero point seven two. If I add one half to that, I get zero point five plus that equals one point two two. So. It's true that 1 is between 0 0.72 and 1.22, roughly. So that's an example of how the numbers work out. But let's figure out why we might believe this. And to do this, I'm going to write out, right, we want to start in the middle, right? We're interested in the series. The whole point of this is the series, not the integral. Well, I'm going to write out the terms like so. And we want to compare them to an integral. An integral is area. So I'm going to think about these, the sum as a sum of areas. And I can do that by multiplying every term by 1, which is not going to change anything, but it's going to give me a nice visual. Right? This is going to be rectangle of length 1 and height 1 half. This is going to be a rectangle of length 1 and height 1 quarter. That's going to be of length 1 and height 1 8. And so to compare this, to visually compare this to an integral, I'm going to make two sets of the xy plane. And I only need the first quadrant since uh, my function is positive and I'm taking the limit, uh, I'm going to take the integral over 1 to infinity. So let's put the limits of integration to, not the limits of integration, I'm just going to plug in some points on the axes 1, 2, 3, 4. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack these rectangles here, which represent the, the value of the sum, over here. And I really have two choices. I can either, right, this rectangle goes with 1 half, which means the x minus 1. That rectangle goes with 1 half squared, which is x minus 2. So that one, this rectangle should go by the 1. That one should go by the 2. That one should go by the 3. But I have two choices. I could either put it to the left of the 1 or the right of the 1 for this one. So I'm going to start by pointing it to the right of the 1. So here's a rectangle. So here's what 1 half would be. Then you do 1 fourth. It should be half as big. And a little bit smaller yet. Like so. So it keeps on going. And so the value of this entire series is represented by this blue area. Let's compare that to the function. right? 1 over 2 to the x. Well, if we graph this, from 1 to infinity, what we get is, right, if we plug in 1, we get 1 half, which is right there. If we plug in 2, we're going to get 1 quarter, which is right there. If we plug in 3, we get like so. If we graph this, what we see is that the curve is going to hit the left side of every rectangle. So the area underneath the red curve is going to be less than the area of the blue. The area underneath the red is this integral. The area of the blue is this. So that gives us the first equality. To get the second equality, we can just decide to, uh, right, we want to put this rectangle by the 1. We're just going to put it on the left side of the 1 this time. So this is the main difference. Do you put it here, or do you put it here? And then once you do that, you just follow suit with all the other ones. So this blue still represents the area, uh, still represents the stuff in the middle here. But now, once again, I can compare this to the value uh, of the integral. So the integral here is, right, just, let's just plot it. There, there, there. Now we're going to hit the right endpoints. So I'm going to take the integral from 1 to infinity underneath this red. And it actually continues here, but we don't really care. So this integral, so this integral from between 1 to infinity, plus the blue here, because the integral doesn't do anything between 0 and 1, so we'll balance it, is equal to, is bigger than all this blue. 